Okay, I just want to talk about brushes briefly. So right now these are your standard brush presets that are in Photoshop. So I'm using a standard hard brush and if you go into the brush tab you can see you can alter the angle of the brush, the spacing. So right now if you draw the strokes you can see the spacing is at 25. Now it's at 1% and you get a smoother line at 1%. Now if you move the spacing now you can see there's more spaces between that circle brush and now you can see that you can actually draw with almost like beads on a necklace. You can flip at the in X and Y. Let's go to the grass brush and you can see more what I'm talking about. Presets already come in with shape dynamics, scattering, color dynamics. But let's turn all those off. So now if you use and you move the brush tool, you may give it a little bit of an angle and draw. And that's what the brush, the grass tool actually looks like with no dynamics on it. And now you can just go through each of the different parameters in the brush tab. And basically you've got shape dynamics where you can do a size jitter with pen pressure. You can do tilt and fade. There's a whole host of different things you can do with brushes. And I really implore you to... Just try them all, get a little bit more of a sense of a working knowledge, and then soon you'll find what works well with your, with your relative style. So here now we're doing the angle, and that's angle with pen pressure. Now let's try pen tilt. So as I tilt my pen, those are the angles that you're getting with the brush. Now let's do direction. So that's the direction of the stroke. And that can be really cool because it's actually following. Oh, let me see if I have something else on. There we go. Now it's following the direction of the stroke. So if you're actually going around a certain object, this could actually start to look like fur or any kind of like an uh, open field. So I'm going to turn that off. And then scattering, scatters, you know, does exactly what it says. but. Now you can get a thicker clump of grass or, you know, hair or anything. And then now you increase the count so there's more of it. And then you spread it more out. And then you can, here you can see, you can quickly cover a large patch of area. You can also turn off the axis for it as well. So it only comes from one axis. Texture. You can import any texture. You can't really see it here, but there's a texture that it's actually applying with it with a different color mode on top of it. Dual brush. You can actually have another brush you know, affecting the main brush that you have. And down and below, you can actually you know, move the different size and spacing and scattering and count from that secondary brush. But if you paint in it, you can see the stars actually influencing the stroke. Color dynamics. Basically, now you can have two different colors mixing as you paint across the stroke. And I'll give this, you know, two tones so you can kind of see this rather than black and white. <coughs> so here you can see it just keeps alternating between the two colors. Now I'm going to add a variable of a hue shift so you can see a little bit more warms and cools. Saturation jitter, so it's going to go up and down in saturation and then brightness. And this is just you know ways to impart variables to your brush stroke. And again, the more that you play with these tools, you can you know find the need when you need it for the brush versus just going with the defined presets that Photoshop gives you or you know if you're actually using somebody else's uh, brushes, I you know it really is important to know what's going on with the brush. And again, you know, the more that you play with these things, the more um, variance you can give to your painting, to your art, anything like that. Photoshop is very diverse, and it has a lot of different ways to work. Now I'm doing the fade on the brush stroke, on the angle jitter. You know, there's really no, no stopping. The transfer mode actually is where you can actually apply a little bit more pen pressure. So now the opacity jitter is actually fading, so you can see it with the stroke. It fades off as you pull the stroke away. Very cool. 
you know, just as defined by my pen pressure of my stylus. And again, just go through all these different options and you'll really get a sense of what a brush can and can't do and you'll make your own calls on what you want it to be.